Hey everybody, it's Allison, the Holistic Home Center, and today I am going to talk to you about some tips for headaches and migraines. I have a friend who is forever suffering with headaches and migraines, and I know even for myself, if my, my spine is misaligned, um, like right now, I know that my spine is misaligned because I've been getting some really, really bad um, headaches at the back of my neck that go the whole way up and through my sinuses. Um, that's usually because I have something out at the top of my spine. Uh, headaches suck. Migraines suck even worse. I think we can all agree on that. Um, and the headaches that I've been getting lately, they come on so fast that... I mean, it kind of blows your mind how fast and how painful a headache can be or a migraine. Some things that have helped me and have helped my friend and have helped some other migraine sufferers that I know are, for one, my headache salve. I've talked to you before about this and um, I made it, especially with people who suffer with headaches and migraines in mind. It's just a few really simple ingredients. It is greasy because it's 85% oil probably, um, but you it's 100% peppermint oil. Peppermint is amazing for helping headaches and migraines. That peppermint salve, you can rub it on your temples or under your nose or at the back of your neck. It's cooling, it's calming, um, and the properties inside of that peppermint are just known to help ease headaches and migraines. So you can do that headache salve. Another um, tip with the peppermint is to have fresh or dry peppermint and to just sip it with water. Um, muddle it in some icy water and let the um, the properties of that peppermint get all through your ice water and then just sip your ice water. Or if you prefer things hot, you can make yourself a little peppermint tea and sip it warm. Um, but those are two great ways to incorporate peppermint into you know your headache and migraine relief. Those are things that people usually don't think about. Usually people are like, hand me the aspirin or the acetaminophen, but that's usually like my last resort. You know that if I have gone and gotten a Tylenol or something, that I have literally exasperated every last option in terms of helping this headache in the moment. So um, I reach for my peppermint, my peppermint salve or peppermint water, I also like to do ice. Um, I love an ice pack for a headache. And the headaches that I've been getting, I've been using two ice packs at a time. I put one on my forehead and I put one at the back of my neck. And I just sit like that, um, honestly, for as long as I feel like it. And the other night I had such a bad headache that I fell asleep with the ice packs on my head. Um, I just let it go until it helps relieve some of that pressure and some of the stabbing pain of the headache and migraine. Another thing to do, so you can do the ice at the back of the neck, you can do it on the forehead, you can also do it at the temples. Um, another big tip is to keep everything as dark as possible. I know for me, whenever I have a headache, the last freaking thing that I want is anything bright. And on that same note, I don't want anything loud either. I want things quiet and dark. So I usually like hole up somewhere, like in my master bedroom, I have blackout curtains and I shut the door and just make it dark with my ice packs and um, just kind of try to fall asleep. That's another great tip. I try to sleep it off, take a nap. Um, another thing too that I do is I try to do some stretching. So I have a foam roller and I'll roll like my neck on the foam roller and I'll roll the whole way down my spine and I'll try to do some yoga. I love, if you guys haven't checked out, like I don't get paid to say this, I just love her channel as it is. If you haven't checked out Yoga by Adrienne, she has a YouTube channel here. Um, I love her yoga and I'm pretty sure she has actual yoga for like headaches and stuff like that if you really start digging into her channel. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure. So, I like to do some yoga for like just 
helping realign everything because like I said, I notice that when my spine is out of alignment, I get a lot more headaches and migraines. And then as far as um, other options, so you always have your alternative healing options. You have your chiropractic, you have even acupuncture is a great option for headaches and migraines. If they are reoccurrent, you could see an acupuncturist. Um, you could also see a Reiki master, even virtually somebody can, maybe it is a chakra issue that your one of your chakras is blocked. And so it is showing itself in terms of a headache. Um, you can have somebody help clear your chakras, like a Reiki master. That's me. If you, if you would like to do that, you can get onto my website. It's linked down below and you can send me a message. I'd be happy to chat with you and see if Reiki might help your headaches and migraines. But then also, um, another herb, since, you know, I love all things herby. Um, I want to talk to you too about chamomile. Chamomile is also a great herb. I should have talked about this back when I talked about the peppermint, but I don't want to forget to mention it. Chamomile is also a very relaxing, calming herb, and it paired with peppermint might be a really great option, hot or cold. You can, and I'm talking, yeah, chamomile, like the little daisies, and you could probably do them fresh if it's, you know, spring or summer where you're at, or you can get them dried. You can get chamomile dried, um, and you can get it organic. I'm pretty sure that's what I have is organic chamomile here, but you can make that into a tea. You can make it with peppermint um, and just sip it really slow, but those two herbs, especially together, would be a really calming and relaxing nervine type energy energy. So those are my go-to migraine and headache tips. Um, as always, if you are really suffering with things, like don't just take my word for this. Obviously, these are just some great like home remedy type tips for you guys. Sometimes we forget about the simple things. But if you are really suffering, like see your doctor, see other doctors, see chi chiropractors, see naturopathic doctors, um, don't just limit yourself to what one doctor says. You have other options out there. I guess that's all. I'm going to stop rambling now and I will see you guys later. All right. Bye.